Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about how to send automatic emails from Google Sheets with the help of checkbox. So the target we want to achieve today is if the user clicks on the checkbox, right? That for that particular row, the email should be triggered for. We have email address in column A, we have subject lines in column B and in column C we have email body. Let's go to the script then. This is my script and to initiate we are going to create on edit function like this. This is very important with a capital E. Okay. And then we are going to pass a parameter here E. So what this function, this particular statement do, it will track the edits going on in the Google Sheet and it will pass all the information to E. And from this E, we can fetch details about the edits. So for example, in this case, so we are going to write a variable var range equals to e dot range. This will fetch the range in which that it is going on. Then I have created a column variable where I'm taking the column number out of this range, range dot get column. Similarly for row, range dot get row and edited value e dot value. So these three lines are very important. As soon as there is an edit in the Google sheet, the column number, the row number and the value edited, right, will be stored in these variables and we can use it in our further lines. And in the last, I have used a variable SS in which I'm calling e.range.getSheet. So I can access the Google Sheet with the help of this variable. This is the main code, right, in which we are saying if the column is 6 and the edited value is true and this is blank. What is this? SS dot get range A plus row dot get value. So what we are doing here is we are checking whether the column number is 6. So we can count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So basically we want the edit should only happen in column F if you want to trigger the email and on top of it if I go and select any cell here you can see it is written false and when I click on this particular checkbox it will convert to true so that's why in the script we are saying check whether the column is 6 check the edited value is true that means it is checkbox and also check some value what is the value we are saying go to this sheet SS. This is a sheet, right? So go to the sheet, go to the range A. A means column A. This is column A. We are going in this particular column. Okay. Then if I go to script again and we are concatenating or you can say we are, we are telling that go and concatenate A plus row number. Row number means cell where the edit has happened, right? Take that particular row number and merge it with alphabet A. So it will be like this. You can say it will be go to cell A4. If the edit has happened in row 4, then go to cell A4, then get the value and check whether that value is equals to blank. So why we are doing this? For example, if I click on this particular checkbox, so before triggering the email, right, it will go to column A, it will check the value in this. If the script does not find the email address here, it will not trigger the email because there is no use of it. But if the email address is present here, it will trigger the email. So that is why we are in the script section. That is why we are checking three conditions here. The checkbox, the true and false, right? The true and false column should be the sixth column. Okay, this is sixth column edited value should be true that means we have checkbox the user have clicked on the checkbox and also in column a for that particular edited uh, row in column a the value should be present the email ad address should be present so if these conditions are true okay so if for example in the column a the value is blank then prompt a pop-up to the user saying check if you have data in column a Obviously, there is no email address, so there is a point of triggering the email. But if it is false, if it is false, that means we can send an email here. 
right? So in this case, what we are doing, this is the main line which is triggering the email. Okay. So whenever this condition gets false, it will come to this section, this part, and it will create three variables here: two subject and email body. And it will pass these three sub, uh, these three variables, and it will it will pass these three variables into this line, and email will be triggered. So let's go here. So for example, I am going to click on this. Okay. So the row number will be three, right? So if I go to the script, what will happen here? It will go to SS. That means it will go to the sheet. It will get the range A three dot get value. What is A three? If I go to Google Sheet again, A3 is this. Similarly, B3 and C3. These so basically all these three columns are required to trigger the email. So that's why we are creating three variables here: two subject email body, A3, B3, and C3, and everything is same. So the two subject and email body variable will will be called, and data will be saved here. And these variables are passed into this line, and it will trigger an email. So there are various validations you can apply. This is just an example to show how we can send an email. Okay, so let's go to the Google Sheet and try try it out once. So let let me just try and click on the checkbox which do not have values, right? I'll just click this and see. Check if you have data in column A. Okay, that means it, that means it is working. And let let's go and click on the third row. It should send an email. Let's go to the email and see. This is a body to subject to. And if I go back to Google Sheet, if I go and click on this checkbox, it should be sending body one. I'll go to Gmail again. Let's refresh it and see. Subject one, body one, and this is how you can send emails automatically with the help of checkbox. You don't have to send bulk emails every time. So, I hope you understood the concept. Let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section. We'll be happy to clear them out. Thanks for watching.